Hi everyone and welcome to another quick and easy tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at how to get this black and white style, almost like a Frank Miller kind of style in Cinema 4D, super quick and easy. So let's get into it. First, we'll open up Cinema 4D and I'll just show you kind of the lighting setup. We can just get a disc and then we can get this kind of shape. And then for the light, we'll just select the light source move it up here. If we go to intensity and turn that to 10,000 and put the shadow as hard. And if we render that, we'll get this kind of thing. To get rid of the anti-aliasing here, so it's super crisp and clean, we'll go to our render settings, anti-aliasing and best. And there we are, we're going to use this kind of setup so there's no textures or anything like that. We're just going to get this clean black and white style and it's going to look kind of like Frank Miller comics there without the brush strokes, just to get the base style for now. So for my particular scene, I just jumped onto Turbo Squid and you can get free models on there. So I'll leave a link in the description below to a few of these models. And um, this is the car one that I downloaded. And you can also get some buildings. I think like this one will look pretty cool because it's got some areas where the light can kind of go through. I personally bought this mega structure uh, pack from Vitaly Bulgarov. I always think it's great to invest in projects that you're working on, whether the personal projects or commercial projects and supporting other artists is great too. So I definitely think this is worth looking to. So I'll leave a link to that in the description. And if we jump into my project file, it's super simple where I've got the car that I downloaded here and I've just moved the wheels. So it looks like he's going forward and dragged the car forward as well. I've attached two cameras inside the null, so you can jump into it, one close, one here. So it looks like it's on the car, and I've just added a Cinema 4D Vibrate tag to this, which is Cinema 4D Tags, and then Vibrate here. And then these are the details for the position and rotation of the camera. So it looks like it's going up and down with the like inertia of the car. And then the other camera I've attached on the side view here. So if we jump out, you can see the two cameras tracking the car. And then with the pack that I bought here, I just placed a few of the buildings around that fit great with the lighting source and then added them as spotlights above. And then if we hold control and R, you get this kind of pop up here so you can bring the quality down and then just move around and see what angles you're getting. And we can just kind of see, move the lights around, move the objects around. And there we are, the quickest and simplest way to get that kind of comic book, Frank Miller style effect um, without the brushes, because you can move this into Adobe After Effects and start adding in some textures and grain um, and really kind of add a bit of that grit into it. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tierney.tv. Thanks for watching.